Displays are a great way to take messages out to the people. Your display might be at the town show, the school fete, a barbecue outside the local hardware shop, or at a brigade open day. Whatever the event or locations, brigades are out there doing this stuff all the time. Gary Lavage from Denali and Robert Scott from Benalla are both long-time volunteers and also trained CFA presenters. Today, they've taken a trailer display to the Benalla sale yards. They're talking with farmers about the coming fire season. Gary and Robert have some advice on making the most out of your displays. You have to stand out, be different from everybody else and have a reason for people to come and have a look and see what you've got. Oh, an effective display has got to be something that is a little bit different from the normal, but not too busy and not overcluttered. If you've got it overcluttered and too busy, people aren't going to look at it. What we really need to have is a clear message and a clear theme, and so the, the, the balloons reflect the message, the materials that we have there reflect the same message, so that we're not mixing up uh, home fire safety stuff and summer fire safety stuff in the same display. So having the balloons, the, the posters, the banners, the publications all linked up together to promote a single theme so people can take something away from that uh, and, and try and remember it. When doing a display it's very important to attract the kids around to the display and it then gives you the opportunity to be able to talk to the adults. When starting a conversation it's really important to smile and be confident and show that you know your stuff. Some of the best conversation starters can be short, sharp and sweet. Do you live around here is a good one. Can you find your uh, house in the map book? Uh, have you seen this particular booklet? And that's enough to get a conversation well and truly underway. And when we're talking to our audiences, it doesn't matter whether it's a barbecue or a church fete or a school, or, or it doesn't matter. We need to make sure that we don't use technical language. We need to put it in terms that the people can understand and relate to. So avoid technical language, avoid jargon, call it a truck instead of an appliance. And just to finish off, when we do uh, finish up our engagements, one of the things we try to get people to do is to make a small commitment. It might be to put the VBIL number into their phone. It might be to download the Fire Ready app into the smartphone. It might be to go home and check on the uh, internet to find the CFA website so that they're not only engaging with us, but they're carrying on that communication and that engagement after they leave us.